defending classic champion in fourth. Brock Hallett next in line in the Q5. And it's Jock Goodyear, followed by Elias and Marcus Dumsney already flirting with the top group. Brock Hallett goes by McHugh. Boy, that was big. He's cruising the bottom as McHugh's already trying to build the top. McFadden has gone to the lead. Four down. James McFadden was so good. Oh, Cam Waters got the tyre in turn number two, and we're red. We are red. Boy, Zephos is around as Chase Randall will bring the reds. We're a frantic start. The USA 9. Well, how big for James. I know that he sat and watched front row go. And he Boy. said, I've had enough of this. I love the way you said that. I've it was only lap this. one, and he said, I'm done with watching you two. <laughs> wow. Crash crew quickly over to this talented teenager from Texas who's been a wonderful ambassador for not only his home state, but his country. Boy, that's a ripping shot. If you're just joining us on Clay Pavoon, you're going, how big is the crowd at the Classic? Tony Bockhoven, that... That young man has certainly been a wonderful ambassador for your country. He certainly has. He's got a lot of talent. He races really, really hard. He gives it all he has every time he's on the racetrack, that's for sure. Brock Zierfoss, you saw him spinning there as he was spinning to avoid the crash happening in front of him. Chase has walked off to the ambulance. He's in there now for the checkup. We can take a look at your Daniel Trucking Replay right now. Oh, just sailed her in. Oh, that was a hard hit, the last yeah, part the of that. concrete, wasn't it? The tank really got that. Just up to the cushion, it turned it in. And over he went. The easy print, DKM Motorsport. Number nine Eagle. They bought that car off Bill Mann up at Performance Wholesale in Queensland when they were up racing at Archerfield. And I know that they're a big fan of that particular chassis. They head off back to Texas on Tuesday where he will pick up, I'm sure, a spectacular 2023 back in his homeland. And I'm really hoping, Tony, that you'll see him Regularly at Knoxville. I haven't spoken to them about their plans, but I'm assuming they're yeah, coming back. They are coming back. Their race shop is, well, you could throw a tennis ball into Dingus from their race shop. Crash crew just mending the fence a little bit there. Easy print, ultra shield, competition systems, DKM. So many partners involved in this, and it was John Rand.